Hey guys, Nate Tafter. Welcome to Speed Tips in my garage in the classroom. Today is episode number 174. I want to talk about range of motion, but I want to talk about learning to establish control in that new range of motion and how we can attack that. So, I really like this, and right now I'm going to just talk about, let's talk about ankle range of motion and control there, using the foot, okay? So, I like this, the Procedo's mat. I think it's unbelievable because I can do so many things and, and make it easy for the athletes without me talking. So I can say, hey, stand on number one, reach for number six. Really easy to do. I can say, hey, stand on number one. I want you to create a flat foot so you're comfortable on the whole foot. And I want you to be able to go as low as you can without the heel coming off the ground, but keep your knee lined up on number four, which is right in front of me. So now my knee's lined up. I'm coming down. Now reach for number six. Now I'm really creating some great range of motion, but I'm doing it in a, in a pattern that creates stability. Okay, so it's not like I'm just going like this and I'm driving range of motion. I'm taking this leg off, so I'm fighting for stability. Now I can drive. I might say the next rep, okay, drive for number three, which is right here. So now I go down, make sure I'm in line, and then I reach for three. And I notice, does the athlete reach and have to tip too much? Do when they reach, does the knee move to the inside? So it tells me a lot. But I'm actually driving good range of motion in the ankle, stabilizing, and by reaching I get to work on different patterns throughout that, that ankle dorsiflex position. Now, let's take that same movement and let's make the athlete stabilize quickly, okay, through that range of motion. So, um, this is number four. I'm going to stand just outside the mat and I'm going to land in a hop position. And what I'll do with the athlete is I'll say, hey, I want you to land and I want your left foot to come over number four on the first rep. So, I'm going to go, my foot's over that. So that. Now I'm going to say, okay, put your foot over number five this time. So we'll go and stick, okay? Can you hold that? And then let's, okay, here's number uh, six or nine, whatever that is. And hit. So now you're saying, okay, they've got range of motion. Now can they control the range of motion? I can do the exact same thing this way. Put my heel over number four. Over number five, reach towards number six. I could go this way, here, here, and then way out. So I'm creating systems to be able to know that my range of motion is controlled. Okay? Use this map. Does that, I would order them if you can, because they're fantastic. You can roll them up really small, take them with you. But if not, at least create something for yourself to be able to use to be able to take your mobility, make it stable, okay, and then make it more dynamic. Hey guys, give it a shot. We'll see you again for another Speed Tips from my garage.